Amen. <clears throat> All right, Saha is watching. Okay, so again, again, we are continuing. I mean, there was an interruption um, on the, uh, the, the other server. Don't know what's going on with... Um, uh, you know, I, all I have to say is technology. All right. So, again, all right, Tony, God bless you. All right. So, therefore, therefore, I want you to, want to, to check this. Therefore, look at verse 18 of uh, Romans 5. So then, so then, uh, um, <clears throat> so then, as through one trespass of Ad, the sins of Adam, okay, the sins of Adam, through the trespass of the sin of Adam, therefore, watch this now, there resulted condemnation for all men. And so through one act of righteousness also, there result, resulted justification of life to all men. Therefore, for just as through one man's disobedience, his failure to hear, his carelessness, the many were made sinners, through so also through the obedience of one man the many will be made righteous and acceptable acceptable to god and brought into right standing with him all right 20 but the law came to increase and expand the awareness of the trespass by defining and unmasking sin that's what the law came to do by unmasking sin but where sin increased God's remarkable, gracious gift of grace, His unmerited favor has surpassed it and increased all the more. So that as sin reign in death, so also grace will reign through righteousness which brings eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And so therefore, you need to understand this. You need to understand this and not be walking around in guilt and in condemnation. Now, again, unless you are not in Christ, that, that is something that you is very powerful you need to understand. Unless you are not in Christ. But if you be in Christ, are you listening? Are you getting a revelation here? If you are in Christ Jesus, now, you cannot be in Christ. This is something I want to, it's very radical, I have to say this. You cannot be in Christ as a New Testament believer and be in operating in the old dispensation at the same time. You cannot be in Christ. in this Living in this great dispensation and also believe, believing or acting or living in the dispensation of the old. It cannot work. This is why I believe that confusion is in the church today. This is why I believe the confusion is. Christians are believing the face of the old in the now. Beloved, it will not work. It will only leave you on this religious treadmill and you will never enjoy the dispensation of the now, the grace dispensation. You will never enjoy it. You have an idea that, well, we are in the grace dispensation and some of you probably even don't even know it. But you cannot bring that old into the now. Eh, eh, eh. Leave the old where it is. Now, don't get me wrong. I said this before. The, the old has its effect. Now, if you want to apply the old, then apply the old and all that comes with it. And newsflash, just in case you don't know what comes with it. Curse comes with it if you are not able to fulfill all of that laws. Curse. Go and read your Bible. It's there. If you are not able to fulfill all, if you are not able to fulfill all, then you will believe all these generational curses and all these we got to pray for for gener against gener generational curse. We got to pray against you know uh, uh, demonic onslaught. We got to pray against this and all this. Listen, sin has all these consequences that comes with it, but we are no longer under sin. We are no longer 
slave to this sin stuff here. Look at look at this, this, the scripture here concerning the law. We the law the law came to increase and expand the awareness and the trespass by defining and unmasking sin. But where sin is increased, God's remarkable grace, glory be to God, and his gracious gift of grace, that unmerited favor, has surpassed and increased even the more. So if grace is increasing even the more, why are you still embracing that old laws or that old environment, that old dispensational um, um, a content into your current life? Believers are, are, are confused and beloved, when you, you are in that state, there is no way you can be powerful. You Listen, you, you'll be forcing yourself to be powerful by by attracting other things and that is also works and that is why you believe that if you don't fast for 40 days god is not going to bless you that's why you believe that if you don't if you don't perf if you don't perform this this religious act and it's this rituals as bible would say god will not bless you because you haven't come to the full knowledge of where you are and what God has done for you through Christ Jesus. So if you are confessing Christ Jesus, then you have to confess him with a clear understanding. You have to confess Jesus with clear understanding that you are complete, totally complete in him. You are, I mean, you here, you are in the zone looking to Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith. I'm telling you, if you don't do that, you will be confused and thinking, believing wrong. And when you are believed wrong, ain't no way you're going, you're, going to, you're, going to, you're going to live right because you are believing wrong. You are believing wrong and therefore you are acting wrong. And trust me, it's, it's, just check yourself. Just check yourself. You realize that you are still on the same treadmill. You are not, you look like you are moving forward, but you're standing at the same place. All right? Come to um, chapter 6. Chapter 6. What shall we say then? Romans 6. What shall we say to all this? Should we continue in sin, okay? And practice sin as a habit so that God's gift of grace may increase and overflow? Certainly not. How can we? The very ones who die to sin continue to live in it. The very ones who die to sin continue to live in it any longer? That's a question. That's a question. No. Or are you ignorant of the fact that all of us who have been baptized into Christ were baptized into his death we have therefore been buried with him through baptism into death. So that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory and power of the, of the Father, we too might walk habitually in newness of life, abandoning our old ways. Including all that was observed and not completely observed in the old dispensation. For if we have become one with him, permanently united in the likeness of his death, we will also certainly be one with him and share fully in the likeness of his, his resurrection. Six, we know that our old self, our, our, our human nature without the Holy Spirit, was nailed to the cross with him in order that our body of sin might be done away with so that we will no longer be slaves to sin. Un unless you don't fully understand this, that that sinful nature of yours 
has been nailed to the cross. That old sinful nature of yours. You are no longer a slave to that old master. So therefore, come to the full understanding of your now in Christ Jesus and begin to search. Search all that comes with this gift of grace and begin to enjoy it. You will see the difference, the contrast between the old and the new. If not, you and, and you con, you're going to continue to be receiving this message of the old that that some is used to scare you and all that. Beloved, you're going to be on a treadmill. Every day you have to go for a fix. Every day you got to go for a fix. Why? Because it wears off and then you need more. It wears off and then you need more. It wears off and you need more. That that's it's like you 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 are on some kind of a medicational deficiency. It wears off and you need more. It wears off and you need more, and you are still standing at the same place, not increasing and not growing. Amen. Watch this eight. Now, if we have died with Christ. We believe, underline that word, we believe that we will also live together with him because we know the self-evident truth that Christ, having been raised from the dead, we will never die, that is, never die again. Death no longer has power over him for the death that he died. He died to sin. He died to sin. He died. Now, remember, Jesus had no sin. Is there any, any day, any time that you heard that Jesus committed any sin? No. He took upon himself my sin and your sin and he nailed it to the cross. He nailed it. He crucified the sin. Basically, that's what it is. And anything that is crucified and dead is dead. So therefore, see your righteousness in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. And don't believe that you have to perform any rituals or anything else for you to receive your righteous or right standing with God. And, and don't believe this hype of religious demons that, uh, well, what you are going through, uh, you know, it's as a result of uh, some sins that uh, your great-great-grandfather or your great-great-grandmother committed and therefore it's come to roost and that you are bearing these things and they're telling you, oh, God said that uh, he will visit the iniquities of the fathers and all this junk that is not rightly dividing the word of truth. And therefore, you are going through what you are going through because you are paying for it. I, I, are, you, I, I, are you serious? I am not paying for nobody's sins. I am not pay First of all, I am not, first, I am not in there. I am not Christ. Christ paid my sins. And if you think Christ paid my sins and therefore I have to pay for somebody's sins. See, what kind of gospel is that? That is not the gospel. Of Jesus Christ and my salvation where it's concerned. No. <laughs> I know. Where do, I mean, does it make sense to you? Does it? Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Now, eight. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live together with him. Because we know that self-evident truth that Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. No longer has power no, it, death has, death, no, oh my goodness. I'm so excited I can't even rewrite. <laughs> death no longer has power over him. For the death that he died, he died to sin. Ending its power and paying the sinner's debt. The sinner's debt. The sinner's debt. He paid the sinner's debt once and for all. And the life that he lives, he lives to glorify God in unbroken fellowship with him. Did you hear that? Look, it's in your Bible. If you don't have one, get one right now. It's in your Bible. So what is this thing here has to do with, you know, because you, you know, you, you, you are sinning uh, uh, since you committed a thousand years ago. That is what has come to, uh, you know, uh, uh, hunt you back. And, and what you are going through now. 
not knowing that you are a, a branch in connected to a vine. And this vine, this true vine is Christ Jesus. And you are the branch. And branches go through pruning times. So therefore, if you don't believe this and you don't receive right, you are going to believe wrong and you don't even know you believe in wrong because you are receiving wrong. And when you receive wrong, you will believe wrong. And when you believe wrong, you will live wrong. And when you live wrong, you will act wrong. You have to understand this. Amen. Once for all, he said, he paid that sinner's death. Well, maybe you were not a sinner, but I was. But he, and he's paid my debt once for all. So if he's paid my debt once for all, I ain't no longer a sinner. Glory be to God. For all the intricates of sin, lack, poverty, sickness, generational cares that some of you so love it, and all those demonic stuff. No, my debt is paid. It's paid. So I am no longer affected and infected, will, it, will it be affected by all this stuff that comes with, with, with sin. No, once for all. And the life that he lives, that I live, I, I live to glorify God in unbroken fellowship with him. Glory be to God. 11. Even so, consider yourselves to be, de to be dead to sin and your relationship to its broken but alive to God in unbroken fellowship with him in Christ Jesus. Do you see that? If you don't do this, beloved, you'll be, you'll be believing wrong. You'll be believing wrong. And as long as you get some preacher or some message, messenger to be telling you that therefore you, you have to, uh, you know, uh, do this direction and, uh, and for, 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 for things to clear up for you or you have to, you know, um, uh, fast uh, 21 days, um, you know, by facing the east. Make sure the sun don't go. You don't see the sun going down. Or, or I mean, all those things. Man, sometimes I hear certain things like, are you serious? And whoever was telling you this says he or she is a Christian. Deception when I hear stuff like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Look, look at chapter 8 of uh, Romans all right, and we're going to jump quickly to our our, our main course. In the, you know, this is this is the the uh, this is just the appetizers. All right, we're going to jump to the main course. All right, look at chapter eight of uh, Romans also, and uh, <clears throat> um, look at verse verse nine. However, you are not living in the flesh, controlled by the sinful nature, but in the spirit. If in fact the Spirit of God lives in you, directing and guiding you, guiding you. But if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. And it's not a child of God. My goodness. I mean, that's powerful. Straight, straight up. This is straight up. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is straight up. If anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. And that person is not a child of God. Glory be to God. I mean, hey, listen, I'm telling you, you got to receive it as it is. Period. If anyone does not have the spirit, so so if you say you you are if you are performing and living, you know, with understanding, with uh, you know that uh, well, I'm still under the law. Uh, maybe you don't even know you're under the law if you are operating in the law. That's what scripture says. Then, you don't have the spirit of who? Christ in you. Then you don't have the spirit of Christ in you. Beloved, because those who were living in that dispensation did not have the spirit of Christ. Period. Oh, pastor, so does it mean how about David and all those? Beloved, God chose specific people to do specific things with them but in this dispensation of grace for all glory be to god it is not about specific people that's why 
you have to stop hailing people as though they are the only chosen ones and you are not. That's where you are. You are missing it. That's where you are missing it. Listen to this. If anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him and is not a child of God. Do you, do you believe you have the spirit of God in you? Then you are a child of God. Then you can go to God yourself and talk to God and, and speak to God and, 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 and have a fellowship with him. If you know you are a child of God. Look at verse 14. I love this. For all who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Glory be to God. <laughs> all who, all, not some, not some. It's not given to some. It's given to all, not some. Not some. Not some people are better than the other pe pe person. Not so. Listen. Oh, so does that mean, so what about uh, the pastors and all that? Listen. God, let me ask you this. Are you a child of God? That's the question. I'm not going to even allow you to get me into all unnecessary stuff. Are you a child of God? Now you answer that question to yourself. Are you a child of God? Now if you are a child of God, then I want you to know that you are. You are, and you have the spirit of God. Amen. All right, let's get to the main cause for the sake of time. Let's get to the main cause. Our time is fast spent already. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, before we get to the main cause, you know, see, it looks like this chapter four of Galatians, we are not, we still seem to get there, but we're going to get there. All right, before we get there, look, you know, whilst we are passing, passing through, let's stop here in chapter 10. Of Romans, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna close, <laughs> brother. Verse one, brothers and sisters, listen to listen to Paul. Oh man, I love this brother. My heart desire and prayer to God for Israel, those who were given the laws. All right, not including you, is for their salvation. You have no idea what your salvation means. Listen. All that, listen, all that you are going through and all these challenges and all those, you know, uh, 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 craziness you have, you have received, it, it's all because of your salvation. It's all because of your salvation. Because you see, if you don't understand this, you will not be able to hold on to your salvation. Not work your salvation. The translation and the right meaning of what Paul was saying to those in Philipp, uh, in in, in, uh, in um, the uh, uh, Philippians, <clears throat> I think it's Philippians two, where it's the word of God is not rightly divided, talking about work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Go back and read that again. You take your time and read. You you understand what Paul was saying. He was admonishing them that listen, hey, now that you have received, okay, your salvation, listen, preserve it, protect it, work it. Constantly be mindful of who you are through Christ. Beloved, remember, remember salvation is through Christ. Remember, salvation is not through the law. Salvation is not through the it's, it's not through anybody but through Christ. And Christ is the one. Salvation is through Christ, his death and resurrection. It's where you find your salvation. It's through Christ Jesus. So Paul was admonishing them and encouraging them at the same time. Hey, work out your own salvation. In other words, preserve, protect, keep that which you have received. Not work. How do you work a salvation? How do you work your salvation? Faith in Christ Jesus is necessary for salvation. Faith in Christ Jesus is necessary for salvation. And beloved, in your salvation, <clears throat> all that pertains to life and godliness, you will understand grace better if you understand your salvation. 
and we will get there. You will understand grace better if you understand your true salvation in Christ Jesus. And we are coming there. Don't go nowhere. Follow. Listen, if you miss any of these teachings, please go to the YouTube, click the subscri subscription button, and then get it. Your salvation. It's, it's, it's more... God is more interested in your salvation than anything else you are, you are desiring. God is more interested in your salvation for you to come. Because, beloved, if you lose your salvation, can you lose your salvation? I think so. Because whatever you have, if you don't keep it, you're going to lose it. If you, if you don't, and, and anything that you don't value, you abuse it. Anything you don't value, you abuse it. Are you listening to me? Anything you don't value. If you don't value your salvation, then you're going to abuse your salvation. You're going to lose your salvation because you don't even know what, what it means to you. Then you allow religious, the, the agents of religion to be telling you, taking you back to the old covenant, old dispensation, the laws, and picking up certain things from there, you know, to hit you, all right, so that based on whatever they know that you are ignorant, you know, you don't know it, and using your ignorance against you, they're using you to benefit them because somebody got to benefit, and it's not going to be you, it's going to be them. Are you listening? Let, let me let, let, let me stop here. I'm going to stop here. My time is up. All right, now listen very, very important your salvation. Today, your salvation is so important. Your salvation is so important. I want, I want us to close here with, um, uh, read, let's read to um, chapter verse 4, 5 or so, and then we close. All right? Brothers and sisters, again, he says, his desire, his heart desire and prayer for, to Israel, to God for Israel, is for their salvation. For I testify about them that they have a certain enthusiasm for God. And do you see that? Certain enthusiasm for God, all right? but not in accordance with the correct and vital knowledge about him and his purpose. Do you see that today? Yes, we see a lot of... This is what I'm, I, this is, this is what I, I'm telling you. A lot of people are preaching gospel, but you have to look in there to see what gospel are they preaching, the contents of what they are saying. And beloved, you need... This is, this is where... Where we are is very, very, very serious because your life and destiny is connected to what you are receiving. And I'm not telling you don't listen, don't listen to anybody or don't go to any church or don't follow anybody. But, but beware of what you are receiving because whatever you receive, find its way to to, 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 to take residence in your belief system. And so if you are receiving wrong, it's going to deposit in, in your belief system. So you're going to be believing wrong. And then what goes out, Proverbs, I believe it's Proverbs chapter 20, Proverbs 3, 24, something like that. It says, um, <clears throat> um, be very careful about what goes in your heart because out of your heart springs out the issues of life. Because what you receive gets down there. And if this is what you believe, that, you know, uh, you have to, uh, you know, um, get up in the morning and uh, you cannot face the east. You cannot face the sun and uh, that kind of stuff. And, and all that and all this and all that, beloved. This is what is going to, you are going to be living by. So if you, be, if you receive wrong, you're going to believe wrong. And when you believe wrong, you're going to live wrong. And when you live wrong, you're going to act wrong. You, you, it's, it, it, you cannot. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. All right? You, if you don't do this, I'm telling you, you're going to... I'm tell, listen, it, 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 it's no longer about which church you go to. It's about what are you receiving? What are you hearing? What are you hearing? 
if you are believe if you are receiving wrong if if the word is not rightly divided well for your understanding beloved i'm telling you the most powerful thing for human being eh, it's it's what you receive and if it's wrong you're going to act look at the people who have been acting wrong just and the, you think there's difference between the one who pick up a gun and went to you know to be killing people at the mall or in the school or the church there's no difference between that person and the one who is also receiving wrong and living wrong and not seeing themselves increasing there's no difference because slowly you are dying slowly you are dying killing me softly you know that song killing me softly you are being killed softly softly you are being killed you don't even know me <laughs> Glory be to God. Hey, you got to have some fun. And if you don't like fun, this is not a platform for you. Please. See ya. Are you listening? Killing me softly. Be very careful of who you are believing. Be very careful of what you are hearing. Yes, what you are hearing can kill you. Yes what you are hearing yesterday i told you this there's a wrong faith and there's a right faith there's a wrong faith look at those who are killing everybody their faith is telling them that everybody is an infidel that's their faith so don't tell me that there's no wrong faith and right faith you, you take your time don't rush listen this race this one this particular race it's not for the swift though that's what paul said you didn't understand that it's not for the swift don't be in a haste what trying to get a name or be popular i i love paul when he says he says when, when i came on the scene i those with names and, and positions, they, they didn't impress me. Beloved, I've seen people who I sit back today and I realize, man, I was receiving wrong messages from these people. It's either they didn't know it themselves or they knew it, but they use it against my ignorance for their benefit. That is the only options that, that there's only two options. That I can see here. It's either they didn't know. Because I, I look back today and I see how wrong. how so, For so long I was receiving wrong messages. Quoting them wrongly. And no wonder it didn't work. In the things in which I applied them. It didn't work. It didn't work. It's almost like. You know God is saying. You, you are praying to God. And. To, for for what for what God has already done, He's already done that for you, and you are praying to Him that God do this for me. You realize that it's like you've prayed and prayed and prayed, and you're not getting no no answers. Why? Because God has already already done it. God has already done it, and so you are praying and praying and praying. Well, we need to we need to hit forty day fast. And I remember many years ago I was in the nation of Ghana, and it looks like every every church prays. On the beginning of the year, everybody seemed to be praying and fasting. Every church, and and this guy, I asked this guy, who was uh, one of the you know in the leadership of one of the churches, I said, why why are you guys fasting? And then for a second, he I guess he came to himself like, you know what, Rev, I I don't even know why we fasting. And I said, I realized that because I'm curious to know why everybody is fasting. Beginning of the year, everybody is fasting. Why are you fasting? And then he said, he even know. And I'm saying, and you are in the leadership of the church. He got a sealer moment. And like I told Lavanda, that's what my ministry is. It's sealer. It will put some sense in your head. It will bring you out of your religious beliefs. Because that is what kill, is killing the body of Christ. Religious beliefs. Religious beliefs is killing the body of Christ. Do you think it's not? I'm telling you, it's no longer, it's not, 
it's not exciting anymore dogma i go to this church so please what, what do you know I, I, I am a, I am a member of that church just because of the name you think the name is what is man i tell you it's so sad eh and we need to renew the mind and get the right message and get out everybody has an issue and as long as you if you are in Christ and you are there. Listen to it. Man, I tell you. L listen to this. If anyone does not have the spirit of God, of, of Christ, he does not belong to him, he says. And that person is not a child of God. So it's not only for specific people. You are also. <sighs> okay. Where did I, where, where do we stop? Let's, <laughs> verse, verse 3. For not knowing about God's righteousness, which is based on faith. And seeking to establish their own righteousness based on works. They did not submit to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law. It eats, the law leads to him and its purpose is fulfilled in him and him alone. For granting righteousness. Listen to this now. For granting righteousness, all right, good morning to you, Paul. For granting righteousness, watch this, to everyone who believes in him as Savior. Your righteousness is not in your hundred day fasting, thousand day, you know, um, um, uh, uh, shandabiting and hikapa. It's in Christ Jesus. Your righteousness is in Christ Jesus. Your righteousness is in Christ Jesus. It's not in how long you pray. It's not in how long you fast. It's not in, listen, oh Lord, you make, I will, it, listen, I am not saying don't pray. I am not saying don't fast. I am not saying don't give. But I want you to understand the where we are, beloved, Jesus has done it. I think you should spend more time in believing than in acting of what he's done. Spend more time in believing. Check all the things that he's done for you. And spend more time in believing than acting. Because you, all, you see that Every year, you are still doing the same thing. Every month, you are still doing the same thing. Every week, you are still doing the same thing. Every two, two weeks, you are still doing the same thing. And everything is still the same. Huh? huh? <laughs> how, how are you using the same first gear to drive from one, 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 uh, 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 state to another you're gonna mess up the car man come on jesus has done it so you are praying to god god do this for me and god says i have already done it for you through christ jesus i've already done it so stop disturbing me you don't know that why because you are receiving wrong message and therefore you are believing wrong because it's like well i need to fast i need to pray i need to the other day this young guy is talking about i don't sleep i said i said you know what you don't what you don't sleep you are a fool f o o f fool i said oh daddy what i said why don't you and he quoted me a scripture that has nothing to do with him not sleeping you know why because he didn't understand and rightly divided the word of truth. I said, go and sleep. Go and sleep. If you know a, a guy who had money than you, for, for, for the information that we were receiving, it like he buys medication so that he can take and sleep because he couldn't sleep. And his, med his money did not even give, save his life. You who don't even have a bicycle tie, you're talking about you, you can't sleep. Meanwhile, you can sleep. Go and sleep. 
my daddy, you know, I've been praying, I've been praying, I've been praying. And I realized that you are always also asking. You don't even have nothing to write home about. And you are talking about, so you, 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 are, you are praying to God of what he has already done through Christ Jesus. All right, you are praying to God to do something that He has already done for you through Christ Jesus. Well, what is He going to do again? I've already done it. I've given you. I've forgiven you of your sins. I have forgiven you of your sins through Christ Jesus. I'm not expecting you to. Work out your salvation. Believe in receive, believe and receive it in him. Yet you don't want to do that. And you are constantly, constantly. Let me give you a homework today. Go and search what it what Jesus meant. By saying, it is finished. Go and search what he meant by that. Go and look for it. Be Christians, today's Christians, are constantly acting and saying by their actions that Jesus didn't finish the work. And therefore, we need to continue. We need to perform. We, we, you know, we didn't, we don't, we, you know, Jesus was not enough. Beloved, you are late. And stop wasting your time. The important thing is, whoever you are listening to me, if you have not given your life to Jesus, and you have not invited him into your life, you have a better chance than those who, have, who claim they have received him, and yet don't even know what they have received. I want to pray with you. You give your life to Jesus today and see what, you, what, what your life will, 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 will become. Give your life to Jesus. If you are that person, I want, to pray with, I want to pray for you. Listen, receive Jesus. Your life will never be the same. I promise you that. Receive him. And all that he has done for you. Jesus was the end of the law. You heard that. Yet today, people of, of believers are still operating the law. They are still operating the law. And Jesus, we just read that. Jesus is the end of the law. Belo be believers today are still operating the law. And thinking that they're going to have any different answers. Beloved, the interesting thing is that they don't understand what they are even believing and operating on. And the consequences and the curse. Let me use that word. Curse, that comes with it. Because you know why? If you, the scripture says, if you are not able to fulfill all, not some of it, all of it, curse comes upon you. Where did you see the salvation? That if you don't fulfill, if you don't leave your, if you don't, if you don't fulfill all that in in, the, in your salvation through Christ Jesus, curse comes over. Where do you see that? But yet, they are still operating that. Don't be one of that people. Come to the saving knowledge, true saving knowledge of Him, and then teach them as I'm doing. And it is my prayer and hope that you are getting this message and you are you are getting yourself free from bondage, guilt, and condemnation. So give your life to Jesus today. I want to pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, you can close your eyes if you want so that you don't get distracted. Wherever you are, say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for hearing this message. This, I, 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 I invite you into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my, of my life. From this day, from this day, from this day, I, it's no longer who, who lives by you, Christ lives in me. 
teach me, help me. Let your spirit teach me to come to the place of knowing the truth. And may I completely be free from religious beliefs and religious living. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you pray that prayer, beloved, as simple as it may be, by sincerely receiving Jesus in your, your heart and making him your Lord and Savior. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Today, your salvation has come. Your salvation. Keep it. Preserve it. Protect it. Nourish it. You know, by doing that, is by constantly believing in that which he has done for you and receive it with all that you have. Are you listening? Grace is your portion. Salvation has come to you today. Oh, hallelujah. I rejoice with you because I have a, I have a true understanding of it where my salvation is concerned. Amen. True Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, you need to continue to read your Bible so that you God will speak to you. You know, when you read your word, God is the word himself. He reveals himself to you. He will speak to you. And when you pray, you speak to him. Are you listening? That's a two-way business. Now, if you have a Bible, please do that. Open and read. If you don't have one, please get one. Now, I'm going a little further. If you cannot afford one, let us know all right let us know we will send you one all right we we made a plea to every one of you to send a financial contribution for us to buy bibles and all that well three people or so did god bless you we are not here to punch anybody you know for you to sow a seed that if you don't sow god will not bless you and all that no the Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. We are here to help you as we are helping ourselves. But I want you to understand that it is not, you are not under any compulsion. But trust me, when you do it cheerfully, oh, there is a reward. Yes, indeed. On that note, I want you to also um, bring you to... Um, as a reminder that I have a good fund me going on there, all right, to raise this money to buy 50 bunk beds and 100 mattresses for this orphanage children. 50 bunk beds and 100 mattresses for the children in this orphanage, orphanage in the Volta region of Ghana to sleep on. Today, you know, for obvious reasons, I can show you the uh, video for those of you who have not seen it. Please go and uh, refer to um, maybe yesterday's um, broadcast is there. The, the network is acting up so we can show it today. But um, we have done the roof for them as some of you, you saw it, so that there won't be no lizards and stuff coming into through those areas when they are sleeping on that bare floor, you know, to, for lizards to sleep with them. So we've done it and there's more to be done. I need your financial help to, to help them today. So check the GoFundMe. You can you can um, um, do as much as you you want. We're trying to raise about five thousand dollars for to to help them. The rain has started. Some of you who are probably from Ghana or you listen to the world news, you know the rains have started, and in that area it's so bad. It's so bad. All right. Don't 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 tune me off now when it comes to you know money. We need that to help them. Be a blessing. If I was sitting down here and tell you that send me a thousand dollars and for what you are going through, I, I, you know, I'm going to give you a direction and all that. Some of you who have been believing wrong for a long time will be running as fast as somebody's chasing you. I know that. I know that. I know that. If I was to come and sit down here and and prophesize to you, you'll be running and you, you will go and borrow the money and bring it. I know that. But now the right message is coming to you for you to believe and to help those in need. You want me to struggle to beg you? I'm not begging you. Continue to give, give it to those who are, who are giving you all that lies and continue to be there. 
that's up to you. But we want to help these little ch children. And whether you support or you don't support, it will be done. And when we, it's done, we will come back and show you what is done without your contribution, contribution to let you know that God is able to do it. But you see, God gives all of us opportunity to, 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 to do for him through. Remember when Jesus said this to, to um, give a response to, he says, when you do for these children, you've done it for me. Scripture says that when you give to the poor, you lend to God. Sila on that. Help through your Zell app or your cash app. The number associated with that is 914-572-9816. 914-572-9816. The Zell app or the cash app. You can do as much as you want. Or just go on my timeline on the website and... Um, Look for the uh, good family and support it. All right, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to try to give you any other other things to twist your arms. That is not what I came here to do. I ain't come here to twist nobody's arm. All right, God is able to do it. I've that is my belief, and I have to believe right so I can receive right and I can live right. God bless you. I'm done. Share this broadcast. Let it be a blessing to somebody else. But most importantly. Be careful of who you are following, what you are receiving, and what you are believing. It's very important. It has to, the gospel of Jesus Christ, it's centered on your salvation. Today, when you have heard his voice, harden not your heart. God bless you. May he continue to bless you. And may his eyes watch between us. And if Jesus don't show up tonight, we're going to meet the same time tomorrow. Tune in and be blessed. Want you to know you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding. Love you.